Tracy, you're looking a little bit slimmer than oh, last week. Thank you. Are you like slim out for, for some particular reason? I don't know. It could be the blue shirt, actually. It's, it could be the blue shirt. But, um, yeah, in the middle of pre-season, it's, um, it's been pretty tough, actually. So, yeah, a few kilos have come off. And, um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. And I think there's a lot of boys here looking really in, uh, in good shape. And uh, I think that's going to hold us in good stead for the year. How much of that may have to do with you trying to lock down that seven spot? Yeah, for sure. I think it's um, it's one of those things. I know I've always carried a bit of extra weight and um, it's always it's always a goal of mine going into the pre-season to sort of get as, as lean as you can and, and, and sort of be able to play at the best weight you can. So uh, this year's no different and um, it's something that I've really focused on uh, for the pre-season. What's the diet been? Oh, the diet. Um, I'd, sort of pretty simple pretty simple in, uh, in life. I stick to sort of meat and getting the good carbs in before training and um, yeah, just sort of trying to eat as, as healthy as I can. How much weight have you lost? Uh, I don't, I, it's not as much um, sort of weight that I've lost. I think it's just sort of just making the most out of, uh, out of training and just sort of getting as much body fat off as I can. So round one's pretty close, Drew. Yep. Do, you, do you think you'll have that seven jersey? Uh, again, we, we, the way we've been training, it's sort, of, it's sort of really up for grabs and I know um, these trial periods coming up is going to be pretty, uh, pretty important in terms of positions and that's some, one thing I've really noticed about the, the pre-season here. It's, um, the spots are up for grabs 1-17. to 17. I mean, no one's really locked in, and um, the coaches have sort of been really honest about that, and I think it's, it's sort of brought the best out in a lot of players at training. Have you been training in, like, particularly with someone in that position? Like, is that yourself? Yeah, yeah, I've been playing, uh, training in the halves, and, and I think that's, there's sort of, sort of four, four or five of us that have really been training there all pre-season, and it's, I suppose it, it, it does make you really switch on and bring your best effort to training each week, and... Uh, I think it's something that we're all sort of really enjoying and, and whilst we're learning off each other we all bring our own strengths to the team and it's, um, it's something that's sort of been really not noticeable this, uh, this pre-season. Do you imagine you'll go into the trials with the sort of starting side and how it will look or do you think it will still be a chance for people to impress there? I definitely think it's going to be a chance for, for people to impress and put their hands up. Whilst, whilst we want to put our, our best team out there you sort of um, blokes minutes will be monitored and stuff like that so it's, it's just about getting combinations and, and getting an understanding about the team team that's going to be around you and uh, one thing that we've got this year is a lot of new faces so um, the, the the idea of getting combinations in it's, it's something that we're all looking forward to especially coming up these trials. Your expectation is that Birdo will be one yep. half so there's at least four of you fighting for the yeah. position. Yep. Do you find that combination has clicked when you've had the chance to train alongside yeah, for sure. I mean, I think everyone's sort of seen the, the athlete that he is and what he can sort of bring to a footy game. So um, just just sort of working with him and, and the players around him to sort of bring the best out in our team, it's it's um, it's only going to benefit us going forward. You've always been so versatile. Yeah. Because you've been able to play. How much do you want to lock down that halfback role? Yeah, I, I've always said that. Ever since sort of coming to the Bulldogs, that was that was my main sort of motive for, for leaving. And... Um, to come into a club like the Bulldogs and to sort of not only establish a spot in the team but establish it like myself as a NRL player and, and a starting player and that's it's been a big challenge for me and it's something that I'm going to be looking forward to for the whole year. It's funny because I was looking today at how many games you've started at seven or 75 game period yeah. nine which yeah. surprised me because I've always looked at you as a seven. I don't know if you've always felt that that's what you are. Um, yeah again it's, I've always sort of considered myself in the halves and, and whether that be seven, six it's um, it's something that I've sort of been able to adapt to, to do a different role, but sort of coming to the Bulldogs, I've felt like I, I've had an understanding of my role f uh, from day one, and it's um, yeah, it's sort of exciting for me to be able to continue to work on that and um, sort of develop it through the preseason and develop combinations around me. There's a yarn in the, in the telly that um, there's no player here from 2021, which is like yeah. extraordinary. Is there a theme amongst you guys throughout this preseason building something new? Well, that, that was, that's pretty new, new to me to hear that, that, um, that stat. But again, I, I, there's been no real talk of, of the past or, or what sort of happened. I mean, with all the new faces that are here, it's been pretty exciting. There's been a bit of a buzz around sort of every session. And um, you've probably heard the speakers and people running past here. It's, it's pretty exciting place to be. And I think it's, um, yeah, there hasn't been much time to sort of to dwell on what sort of happened before. And I think everyone's really excited about about the future. Yeah. Drew, you touch, on, you touch on the new faces yeah. and there are a lot here. Does mm. that sort of, is that a challenge for you potentially as a half playing behind a pack, particularly that hasn't had a lot of time to work on its chemistry yet? Uh, yes and no, but again at the same time that, that challenge is, is sort of on me I guess to, to communicate to them and and to bring the best out in them. And that's I think that's some, a part of my game that 
I have sort of uh, learnt and have an understanding of and, and just bringing the best out of the players around me is something that uh, I'm going to need to do this year. It's probably not the biggest pack in the NRL and um, we saw Ray moving on yep. the last couple of days, but does size matter, do you think, in the mind game of forwards playing, playing behind big That's forwards and forwards? I'm going to say no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> For everyone else out there. But um, yeah, again, I, I think you, a lot of sort of packs these days are mobile and the, some of the best forwards in the comp are are those blokes that are under 100 kilos that can move and can get in between defenders and um, yeah, I sp it just depends. I mean, it depends on the game, depends on the style and uh, having that pack that, that is mobile and that is aggressive is something that we've really spoke about this year and uh, I know it's a challenge for, for blokes here to really really aim up and um, I know that a lot of them are looking forward to it. Just with, uh, sorry. Yeah. Just with all, all the new faces, um, yeah. you know, learning combinations and galvanising is obviously yeah. important. Um, I know you guys did the army camp like, yep. before Christmas. I think Penrith did something similar. And I remember talking to the boys about it. And yeah. It was one of the toughest things they've ever done. What was what was that yeah. camp like? Can you give us some insight? Oh, jeez, I hated it. It was um, <laughs> it was pretty tough. But again, it was it was three days with with a bunch of blokes who was really coming together. And it was um, sort of when I left, I remember mean, just thinking, no, I've had a, I had a really good time. And um, you get an understanding of the boys around you and, and what they're capable of. And um, I guess it was. It was one of those camps that sort of everyone just really understands how, how strong and how fit some of the blokes are here and um, yeah it really really helped us and I know that we're all looking forward to sort of getting around each other and playing more footy together. Who really stood up in that camp? Is there anyone who really sort of impressed you considering how grueling it is? Yeah, Nighty. Nighty was a beast. He was, he was really good on those sort of camps. I mean blokes like Kix and Critter, they're just the way that they talk and communicate and as well as they are big and physical and, and that's that's the game that footy is, they sort of help everyone else through it, which was which was really sort of uh, noticeable to me. They can carry a lot more, more heavy things than I can, so it was sort of, um, it was good to sort of have them in your team around those camps. How's, uh, how's Stephen Crichton going? We saw you say he wasn't training. Yeah. Everyone was back quite strange. Yeah, he's a, he's a physical, pretty bit of a specimen out there. I mean, the way that he moves and the way that he, he communicates, it's... It's no doubt that he's he's been one of the best um, centers, fullbacks, or whatever position he, he's been playing in the last few years. He's he's pretty impressive out there, and um, I think everyone sees the quality that he brings, not only to the training field, but to when he's off it and the way that he talks. And um, yeah, I think everyone can really look forward to sort of seeing the season that he's going to have in the Bulldog shirt. There's a bit said externally last year. Yeah. About, like if blokes didn't want to train hard, they, yeah. they won't work with his club. I got to know if the Bulldogs have done. Yeah. Army camps like that in the past, but was having that army camp in some ways sort of setting the tone for what's expected of you guys? Yeah, I guess it's. Um, I think that I've hearing those rumours and those whispers last year. I mean, it couldn't be further from the truth when you sort of come here and you experience how hard the boys do train. And um, I mean, some blokes when they get pulled out of drills, it's like a, it's almost a fight out there. Like they got to really, really be um, pulled out of the games. But it's yeah, that that camp was just. Doesn't matter how you're feeling. Doesn't matter what day it is, what time it is. You just you got to get on with your job, and um, I think it's a really, really positive thing for us moving forward. Yes, just on that, like the clubs. You yeah. Know, spoken about the rebuilds and that kind of thing takes time, but like I guess coming from such a successful club, you yeah. have where you know there always has been success. Yeah. What are you kind of seeing, and are you seeing any similarities? You know, in terms of knowing that that rebuild is on the right path. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, just the way that everyone from the top down is, is in alignment, like everyone is in, in belief of what we're doing here. And that, I think that's the main thing. I mean, that, that old, where people say it doesn't matter if you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing, if people are following you, you it's, you're going to get the majority of it right. So just that alignment from the top down in, in all departments, I think that's, that's the most important thing. And the next step is for the performances on the field. And um, yeah, we're doing our best in the pre-season to sort of deliver that for the year. Surprise might be isn't the right word, but like, um, yeah. you know, I guess... Is, is that perspective different to maybe what you thought it might have been, where the clubs are when you were coming in? No, not at all, actually. I remember meeting with sort of Cam and Gus and, and discussing uh, the club, and you can just see that the, the direction they wanted to go in and, and the, the, the passion that they sort of spoke about. It's, it's, you get an understanding of places, and um, I know being at the Roosters, the way that they sort of spoke about the club as a whole, and that, that's, that's the feeling I got when I sort of met with the Bulldogs. And um, yeah, it, it makes for a good environment to be a part of. And, yeah, again, I've loved every day here and it's been it's been a real challenge, but it's been um, one I'm looking forward to. It's been a long time since this footy club has been in the finals. Yeah. I know there's obviously so much change with the roster and everything. Are you guys in a position to talk about expectations? Um, yeah, again, I, I don't think we've... That's pretty cliche. We don't really talk about that at, at, as much. I know that if we if we play the footy that we want to play and, and we're um, 
we sort of start building towards the footy that we want to play, that's going to put us in our good stead to be in the finals. And um, we have no doubt that that will take care of itself. And yeah, again, I don't want to say it, but we're focusing on, focusing on ourselves and, and getting our best performances ready for round one. You come from a club, Drew, with a coach who's famously very successful. What's yep. Ciro like compared to Robbo? How do you see the two? Are they similar, different? Yeah, very similar. The way that they, they think about the game and, and they think about their players and, and sort of the the best way to, to get the most out of their players is something that I've, I've really noticed. I mean, the way that Ciro can... He understands the, the strengths of a team where we need to sort of work on it. It's just... It's, um, it's no different and it's, it's a good environment to be a part of and it's one that challenges not only yourself but I think the people around you to be their best every day. How's Bryson Sherry looked? Yeah, he's pretty cool. I'd like to look like that. <laughs> and I'd love like to run that fast. He's, um, yeah, he's pretty impressive. And just the way that he sort of... Yeah, he's, he's held his hand up for, his, for a mistake that he made four years ago and he's come back in the best shape that he's probably ever been in his career. I mean, he's fit, he's fast, he's, he's athletic. And, um, yeah, but again, the, I think the game has changed in, in those years and he's understood that. And the way that he, he can take feedback and he sort of... He's, he's a big student, he wants to learn, he wants to, wants to get better and, and that's the environment that this, this is and that's where I think the, the boys around him have really helped him as well. If the Bulldogs are feeling their strongest side, is he in it? Uh, well, I'm not the coach, I'd like to, um, but uh, again, I, I think he's really putting his best foot forward at the moment. He's, he's trained every session pretty much and he's, he's getting himself in the best, best shape possible to be there for round one and it's, um, yeah, it's a credit to him, to be honest. Thanks, man. Uh, cheers, guys. Thanks very much. Thank you.